हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस रूपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सीबी मिनट्स वीडियो सीरीज ऑन एरे इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज एंड दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 यूनियन ऑफ टू एरेज सो बेसिकली दिस इज योर एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू एरेज एरे 1 एंड एरे 2 विद रेस्पेक्टिव साइज n एंड m एंड व्हाट दे वांट इज लेट्स से वी हैव टू एरेज लाइक 1 2 3 4 5 एंड 1 2 3 द यूनियन काउंट इज गोइंग टू बी 5 करेक्ट व्हाई बिकॉज़ 1 2 3 आर कॉमन इन बिटवीन दीस टू arrays and 4 and 5 are not common so basically if you union 1 2 3 4 5 5 with 1 2 and 3 then the result is like 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the actual count is 5 what if we had 6 here like 1 2 3 and 6 and 1 2 3 4 5 5 then you had the 6 here i mean you will have 6 here so count will be 6 then so basically you have to find how many numbers are there in both the arrays and just ignore the duplicates so like i'll see 1 is there 2 is there 3 is there 4 is there 5 is there and then i'll iterate over this array okay 1 is there so i have already one in my list don't care 2 i have already that in my list don't care 3 it's already there don't care 6 6 is not there okay i'll add 6 so this is something what you have to do so i have rewritten this neatly and we were supposed to find a good data structure right to just keep the track of something is already available or not because we want a union so the good data structure is going to be unordered set i mean you can use unordered map also but then for that you will have to use two data types right if you use unordered map then you have to use two data types here one for key and one for value but the point is we just have the keys we don't have the values or you don't have to use any value because this is what you want you just want to maintain one one time because you want something like you will iterate over this one is there yes two yes three yes four yes five yes the moment you will reach here i mean you have to traverse this also right then you will see this one is already there you don't have to do anything with that two is already there three is already there six is not there just insert six and then return how many elements you found unique or without considering the duplicates so actually you have six elements you just need something like this right then why would you go for unordered map where you have to unnecessarily hold a value place also so better is use unordered set this also uses a hash table and the problem can be solved very easily just by putting all the elements inside this set i mean an ordered set let's do that so i have just written and just uh, confirmed that this is working so let me show you this and this and this so just four lines and we are done the point is see we are getting two arrays like array 1 and array 2 array 1 size is like n and array 2 size is like m so i'll just iterate over this first array till n exist i'll just keep on taking the numbers from array 1 and insert into the unordered set and similarly i'll do the same thing for the second array also right and as this is set it will only contain that element one time only correct it is not going to take contain that element twice and then even if there are multiple same numbers i'll keep that entry only one time in this unordered set and in the end just dot size will give me the size without duplicates and this is what i needed correct so let me just quickly rerun this uh, we can see it will work yeah so you don't have to use uh, unordered map what i have seen mostly people would do and what they will do they will iterate over this array and just push all the elements into this unordered map and keep incrementing the count whereas this is not needed i mean why do you need that count so you don't need that so basically doing this problem with this unordered set is like more optimized and you will take very less space because you don't need any second value correct so i think we are done thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos and yeah don't forget to hit the like button yeah thanks you bye bye